Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are le Let's Playing Legacy of Cain, Soul Reva. In the last episode, we started the game and met our buddy Raziel. Now we're in the start menu, and basically there are various things we can do in this start menu. Resume our game. We can. The nice thing about this game is you can save anywhere in the game. So that's pretty cool, and our options, I believe, are the same that we see in the beginning. So we now we have to fight some some vampires and basically you gotta hit him a bunch oh no I didn't want to do that you grab him oh then you gotta hold it okay never mind and you hold triangle and then you walk and then you throw him into the water they didn't go into the water what the hell? Unfettered from the flesh, a creature's soul fades swiftly into the spectral realm. Draw it in quickly, Raziel, or you will be compelled to follow. So what you want to do now after you kill an enemy is suck their soul. And don't worry, it'll eventually come, see? Bring it! Come on, soul, I ain't got all day. There we go. Now let's take out this other guy. And let's throw him in the sunlight and I'll show you. Yay! And look at that, he's burning big time. There we go. Look at that. Now we have uh we've accomplished our goal. So next what we gotta do is um what do we gotta do? I came from over there. Oh, if you wanna go in the first person mode, I think you just, uh, you hold L, or you can help hold R2 and L2 and look around in first person mode. And we wanna get up there, so what we have to do is move this block. Your physical prowess surpasses what you knew in life. Even massive obstacles can be moved effortlessly. So we hold square and we move the block. And we want to move it over there. And we can also flip blocks, but that won't come into play until later. See, if you hold L1 and square, you will flip the block. That will probably come into play much later. So this is what we're going to be doing a lot of. A whole lot. And I actually might like fast forward some of the boring block puzzle. Well, I don't know yet. I I'm going to see. We'll see. Open the door, Razio. There we go. Who's a good boy? My God. The sanctuary of the clans reduced to ruin. Beyond these walls lay the pillars of Nosgoth, the seat of Cain's empire. How humble it now appeared, collapsing into the dust of its former magnificence. And yet, I had only just emerged. In the instant between my execution and resurrection, centuries had apparently passed. This world is wrecked with cataclysms. The Earth strains to shrug off the pestilence of Cain's parasitic empire. The fate of this world was preordained in an instant by a solitary man. Unwilling to martyr himself to restore Nosgoth's balance, Cain condemned the world to the decay you see. In that moment, the unraveling began. Now it is nearly played out. Nosgoth teeters on the brink of collapse. Its fragile balance cannot hold. See, and basically, yeah, this game takes place after... What the hell? After after the first cane. And right here, we can grab... What the hell? Grab it! Look, we can grab a spear now. 
and we can fight these guys and basically if you hit triangle you impale them which is awesome so let's pick up the damn thing yeah with square anyway so this game basically takes place after soul reaver one but i mean a uh, blood omen but um basically Kane, it the true ending that happened was Kane not giving himself up to the pillars to restore them and basically, you know, mate, uh, he decided to live rather than kill himself and fix the pillars. Which actually might be the better thing in the long run, as we'll find out eventually in this long series of games. But now if we hold R1, we can actually sneak on this guy. And impale him! Nice. Yeah, so I think whoever made this game really did, really made a bold, bold move by making a brand new uh, main character. Like, don't get me wrong, Raziel is very cool, but I would rather play as Kane. But th this, his story is going to be amazing. Don't worry. Anyways, if we come over here, we open this door. This is a door to a warp area and what we want to do whenever we see those doors we want to activate the warp because that will help us uh that'll help us warp around later so just come on and touch the thing and this will activate it and remember that symbol the circle-y thing with the two peaky with the two thingy me jiggies because now we can warp to it and we can also warp to we can also warp to this area too, which would be in the spectral realm. Yeah, hey, where the hell is the thing that I just found? Well, screw it. Remember that though, we can warp here. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, so the game, the fighting in the game isn't too bad, but the block puzzles will be murder, as we'll find out much later. So right now we're in Nazgoth near Raziel's, uh, Raziel's hometown, or whatever, or thing. Doo, doo, doo. You don't see me. Oh, you son of a bitch, you did see me. Stag! Yeah, spears are the best in this game. We'll eventually get a more permanent weapon, but for right now, spears are our thing. And look at this. This is the same waterfall that we got cast into. This, at least, had remained constant. The endlessly swirling vortex of the abyss. My tomb and the womb of my rebirth. Though much of Noscoth's landscape had changed, these cliffs gave me my bearings. My clan territory was to the west. I was anxious to see how my descendants had fared during the centuries of my absence. Yeah, so basically now we're going to head over to Raziel's domain. And that is over here. But anyways, uh, what else was I going to mention? You fall down there, you're basically dead. Or you're, you'll get warped back into the spectral realm. Turn, damn it, spin. Yeah, the the way the the way the friggin' button L and R buttons, they actually work opposite. Which is kind of weird. Like, the, the L button will turn it right rather than left, which I don't know why it would do that. See, I'm hitting L1, and it's turning this way. And it should totally turn the other way, but I don't know why it doesn't. So yeah, now we're in Raziel's domain. Also, another thing I wanted to mention was, uh... Was... I'm gonna keep quiet during the scenes, little cutscenes, because, like, there's no subtitles yet, 
So I want to uh, make sure you guys hear what they're talking about. Ooh, look at that spear. Oh, you son of a bitch. Stab! I stabbeth thee. Mmm. Your soul is delicious. Yeah, look at this thing, huh? Stop. Why don't you just... There we go. And I don't know how you impale someone with the blunt end of something. But yeah, alright. Uh, you know what? I'll stick with this one. But yeah, as you can hear, the music is kind of odd. It's basically just ambiance kind of music. Like, later it'll get... It'll get... I don't know, weird or something? I don't know. Utter desolation. My once proud kin wiped from this world like excrement from a boot. I knew the hand that wrought this deed. So yeah, this is Raziel's uh, domain. Each, each vampire, like vampire dude, had it, their own, their own like keep or whatever you want to call it, where they ruled and stuff. Don't you hit me while I'm trying to eat. Also, another thing you could do, you could pick up these and hit them on the head with it. Uh, yeah, let's go pick up this. And you can actually, you can actually toss your spear as well. Now that I think about it, the spear kind of looks like a fancy pen. The pen is mightier than the sword, isn't it? Alright, let's go this way. Over here towards the door that will warp the warp door. Again, open and activate all of these uh, warp things. It'll make it so much easier when you're uh, when you're coming around again. And as you can see this one's got like a little a little thing. I don't know what the hell. Think of it like a weird staff. So yeah, now we've activated this one. No, not this one. We've activated that one. And now the one that we're on. So isn't that awesome? So now we can warp to two spots. Woohoo! Yay, warping. Yeah, because there's actually quite a bit of backtracking in this game. Now we gotta go. Where the hell do we have to go? Oh, in this door over here. Nope. Ooh, snuck up on you and impaled your ass. Another thing we could do is we can take a torch, and this is water, we don't want to go in the water, but we can come over here. Is there another vampire? Hello, vampire! Look at this, what we're going to do to this guy. We're going to beat him up with this thing. Right? And then light his ass on fire. But sadly now the torch goes out. Oh god. Run! Well actually, I'm not running. And you can throw it at him with triangle. Grab it! Beat his face in with a torch! And then sight his ass on fire! Who doesn't love to do that, though? Seriously. Oh, look at this. Another spear.
So yeah, the game so far is pretty simple, but it will get more complicated. Hey there, buddy. Yeah, and over there, you, if you still have the torch, you can, uh... You can, um... You can get it relit. Relight the torch. Yay! Another dead. Alright. Anything here? No. Doo -doo. And you can throw them on that spike if you want. Spin this way. Nothing. Yeah, the controls in this game are a little weird. But they will get... In the next game they get better they get rid of the block puzzles it's, 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 a, it's a lot of fun there's i mean there's still puzzles don't touch me there's still puzzles but it's not as crazy as the, they will be in this game give me your soul and if any point you want to go back to the material realm you just hit select and you can go back and you just hit select and hit square on that that quote unquote glyph hello vampire don't hit me. Boom! Impales. I impale you and I drink your soul. It's not as delicious as blood, but whatever. Alright, so... Where do we have to go? Excuse me. Flick the switch with square. And voila! A drawbridge appears. Where is that drawbridge? Right here? No. Where the hell did it appear? Okay, here we go. Anyways, uh, we'll have to continue further in the Raziel's Keep in the next episode, and I'll show you how to save it, basically. It's that easy. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to end the episode here, and the next episode we'll continue through Raziel's Keep. This has been Kenshin1913. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.